guys, thanks for joining us again today. My name is Kim Murdoch and you're watching Arts Hub Online. Today's craft project is really cute and easy. It is a butterfly that's made out of a clothespin and a coffee filter and a twisty tie from a bread bag. So you can always modify the materials you use if you don't have these things. I can talk about that later. But for today, that's what we're going to make. We're going to make this cute butterfly. It's decorated on the front and the back. They're fun to play with, but you could also just set them up somewhere and admire them just the way they are. Okay, let's talk about supplies. So we don't need a lot of supplies today for this project, but you do need a couple of specific things. One is a clothespin. This is a wooden clothespin with a metal spring. This is one item you're gonna need. You're also gonna need a twist tie from a bag. So it doesn't really matter what color it is or what kind it is. Um, so, but you can see they're usually about the same size. You just need one of those. It's gonna become the antennae of our butterfly. You also need a coffee filter. Now this is a white coffee filter, but sometimes they come in more of a natural brown color. Whichever color you have is fine. I think the marker shows up really well on the white, but if you have the other kind, that's fine. Any kind of paper filter will work. Also, you're gonna need um, some a glue stick, a pencil, a pair of scissors, markers, some white paper, and a Sharpie. Now the Sharpie is always something you cannot, you don't have to have it if you don't have a Sharpie. You can always just use a black marker instead. But the black Sharpie makes these really bold lines and I just think it makes it look really nice. So you don't have to have a Sharpie, but I'm gonna use one today. All right, in just a minute, we're gonna get started. The first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is um, decorate the wings. The very first step to making your butterfly is to get the wings ready. So I'd like you to take your coffee filter and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half. And so I've just folded it and I'm gonna take my fingers and press down like this. And it looks like a fan, right? But what we're gonna do, we need to change it so that it has the different shaped edges. You can see how it's not exactly the same. So how did I do that? First, I'm gonna take my Sharpie and you can do this with a pencil if you prefer. And I'm just gonna do a little decoration on the outside of the um, filter. And butterflies are symmetrical, which means they have the same thing on the right that they have on the left. And so it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but if you have a curve here, you wanna have a curve here as well. And if you have a big curve here, you wanna have a big curve there as well. So I'll hold up this and show you what I got started with. You can see that I drew a Sharpie on the edges, kind of in the same kind of a way. And now I'm gonna do that big curve and I'll hold that up for you. So I'm gonna do another big curve. And I'm just gonna do the best I can to make it about the same. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Sometimes you might draw lines you think are mistakes, but you can always turn those into lines you do like. Especially with a project like this, there's so many designs on a butterfly's wings, you can always use those extra lines. So as you can see, I have a big curve on both sides and I'm going to now close my Sharpie so it doesn't dry out. And I'm gonna look at it from here and make sure it's about the same. I think I need to adjust it just a little bit. So here's a good example of how I think that this is an extra line, but how do I solve that? Well, I just add another line on the other side and suddenly it just looks like it's supposed to be there. So now I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm going to cut along the edges of my line. So coffee filter is delicate paper. It's not super delicate, but you wanna just be careful when you're cutting it. Just kind of hold it carefully. You can see how I'm taking my time. So now that I have cut those edges off, you can see I have a space here. So the important thing is that you don't cut all the way off. So what does that mean? It just means you want to cut around, but you wanna keep a big amount of your filter right here. But you see how I did my curve and I came up and I went back down? There has to be something for the filter to connect with the um, clothespin. If you cut all the way up, it won't work. So the good news is, is if you do that by accident, you can just start over and it, it'll just take no time. All right, guys, 
So now we have our coffee filter and what we're going to do is um, do some designs on it. I want to show you for a minute, like I was talking earlier about the symmetrical designs. Do you see how I have a, a spiral here and a spiral here? And then I have three of these and then I have a curve across the top and a curve across the top. So they're not exactly the same, but that's okay. It has a little bit to do with how it's folded. And on the back, I have a heart and a heart and similar shapes. So this is your butterfly. You can decorate it any way you want to. What's really fun about this is once you make one, you can just make them over and over again and you can make them with any design you want. I mean, you can make a realistic one or you can make one that's totally imaginary. So when I come back, I'm going to show you my designs and then I'll tell you what the next step is. Okay guys, so here is my butterfly design. I wanted to show you a couple different ways to do it. On this side, I did more of a geometrical design. So I've got some spirals, some hearts, some triangles, some zigzags, just fun designs that are going to be fun to color in. On this side, I did more of a natural butterfly wing design. It just shows the veins and different things. This is a great uh, place to do the symmetrical design with the colors you choose. So for example, if the top of this wing is yellow, then the top of this wing should be yellow. And if the bottom of this one is blue, then the bottom of this one should be blue. And that's going to give it that beautiful symmetrical look. So in just a few minutes, I'm going to come back and show you what I did with color. And just know that you can take your time and have as much fun as you like. You can make these as many times as you like as well. Okay, so this is what I did for the coloring. You can see how the color choices you make are really going to make those symmetrical patterns stand out. And also how it's fun to make something completely different on the other side. So you can make your butterfly wings the same on both sides if you like, but it's really fun when you do different designs. So we're going to set this aside for now and we're going to work next on the body of our butterfly. And that is where we're going to be using our clothespin. Before we do that, real quick, I want to mention that I forgot earlier, but you are going to need a little tiny piece of tape. It is used to hold on the antennae of your butterfly. So when I say tiny, I mean we're talking about a piece about the size of your thumbnail. So you do need a very small piece of tape. So the body uh, is really simple. As you can see, I've just got designs drawn on here with a Sharpie, and then I just colored it with a marker, and I just did it on this, the same on both sides. These little eyes we're gonna make with paper and we're gonna glue them on, but we're gonna do that in just a couple of minutes. So first I'm gonna design the body and then I'm gonna um, show you how that looks and then after that we'll do the eyes and the antennae. All right, so I've colored in the body of my butterfly. As you can see, I chose to do some horizontal stripes. I used my Sharpie and I just colored them in with some rainbow-like colors. Now, when you do a design on the body of this butterfly, you can do any type of design you want. You can do circles, zigzags, you can do curly cues, you can do stripes going vertically instead of horizontally. You can even color and design the sides of the body. The whole thing is easy to color. You can use your markers. That's what I used. I just colored them in with markers. Um, but what we need to do now is work on the antennae. And to get those done, we need one of those twist ties. And so the easiest thing to do is to take a pencil and to wrap a twist tie around that pencil nice and tight so tightly that when you just look at it it's on the pencil right it doesn't come off easily but you can slide it right off and then you have a little spiral and what you need to do is just stretch that out so it's a longer spiral and then sort of bend it a little bit and so by doing that you sort of have automatic bug antennae. So now what we need to do is get that piece of tape I was telling you about. And so you just need a little piece of tape. And when I say little, I mean even smaller than this. So I'm going to rip this in half and I'm going to take this little piece of tape and I am going to put it right in the middle, this U-shape area of my antennae. I'm going to hold this up so you can see it. This goes right here. See how I'm opening that up? I'm going to put it right there and close it and then I'm going to use my fingers and press that tape down. So you may have to hold this open for quite a while to press that tape down. But press it down nice and hard and then you can adjust the antennae. If they've gotten a little bit out of whack you can adjust them so that they're ready 
for your butterfly. So there we go. It's looking pretty cute. Now it's time to work on the eyes. I'm going to work on those. As you can see, they're just little circles that are colored in and designed. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. When I come back, uh, I'll show you what mine look like. All right, so I drew my little bug's face and I made this one bigger than the other one so that you could see it. I actually gave it a chin and a little mouth as well. So I just thought that'd be really cute. This guy's got some eyelashes and some eyelids. This one's eyes are wide open. It's just kind of like bug eyed. So I thought that was kind of funny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors now and I am just going to cut around my drawing and it takes a minute to do it without messing it up, but that's what it takes and that's okay. So just be patient when you're doing this. You can always draw another one. Just remember, it's not the end of the world. If you think, oh man, I messed it up, just make another one. I also wanted to show you, it's really important. So I'm all about conserving paper and supplies. This little tiny piece of paper that I used for my bug eyes, you see how I took it from the corner of this sheet of paper, not from the middle. So just remember, you don't need to use the whole sheet of paper to make something. You can always take a little corner of it. So just, that's a good thing to remember. All right, so I've got some bug eyes now and I need to put them on. And so that is gonna be really easy. I'm just gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna put the glue right here at the top. And by the way, the top is where the antennae are. And so I'm just gonna really load it up with some glue. I'm gonna make sure my bug's eyes don't fall off. And I'm gonna make sure it's got lots of glue. So now I'm gonna put my little bug's face on there. And I'm going to tilt it a little bit and I'm tilting it a little bit on purpose just to give it like a little bit of an attitude, like it's tilting its head. So that's the bug's face. Here's the bug's body. Now it's time to put on the wings. So you just have to decide what side is going to be on the side with your bug's face. Okay. So it really doesn't matter, but just pick a side and stick to it. Let's see if I can get my guy to stand up. Oh, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do whoops, this side. So here's what I wanna show you. I'm gonna open up this, I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna slide it on down. You're gonna notice that it might not fit perfectly, and that's okay, because you're gonna scrunch it a little bit. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of pressure and scrunch it down with my finger, just a little bit so that I get that nice curve at the top of the wings. And also it gives the wings a little bit of fun design. So you can fluff these wings up by putting your fingers inside here now and doing that on both sides. It's easier sometimes if you just set it down to do that. And there you go guys, check it out. It's a beautiful butterfly and look how cool it is on different sides. I think that's a lot of fun. So now my little butterfly has a buddy. I've got two of them now. You guys can make these, like I said, as many times as you want. They make great gifts. Mother's Day is right around the corner. In fact, it's tomorrow. Okay, guys, uh, in just a minute when we come back, I'm gonna show you what next week's craft is. It's really cool, I'm excited about it. Um, I'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, guys, before we leave you this week, I wanted to show you what we're gonna do next week. We're gonna be making this cool underwater craft we're gonna be making things like fish and seaweed. Once you learn how to do this, you can just keep on going with this. You can make any type of underwater creature or thing you'd like to make, whether it's a treasure chest or a shark or an octopus or a jellyfish, you can make anything you like. But next week we're gonna make this and I wanted to show you the secret to this. It may surprise you. These are actually made out of cereal boxes. So it can be any type of box, but uh, don't forget to dig these out of your recycling bin so that you're ready for next week. I'll see you then.